You ever just felt alone? You ever just felt whenever you cried out? Whenever you talk? Nobody's listening. Nobody is acknowledging your pain. You feel ultimately alone and unwanted. Life can be very depressing at times. You know, we, we laugh, we kid, we joke, but oftentimes the person that's smiling the most is the person that's hurting the most. He's just gotten good or she's just gotten good at hiding the pain or coping with it through laughter. But still it doesn't fix the problem. I was reading a comment today and the guy said, hey, what can a man do when his family has discarded him? Uh, very little friends. There's no other outlet for you to have, for you to express yourself. Where do you go? That comment inspired this video because we've all been through these phases, especially if you're an older man. And even if you're a younger man, you can still go through this in your, in your high school years. You know, you're trying to find yourself. And when you're around people that don't understand you or don't want or don't care to understand you, it can really fuck with your head. So you have to look inward, guys. I keep referencing, referencing this, uh, but it's the truth. Whenever you're needy for attention, whenever you going above and beyond to, to belong to a group that usually leads to mistreatment. It leads to uh, people using you. So then you find out that trying to please people doesn't get the desired uh, outcome that you would like. It's not getting the result of having friendship. And this is what I've noticed. People can't deal with that feeling, so they just stay in friendships or relationships just because they don't want to be alone. The mistreatment by a person is better than no person at all. But the thing you have to understand is you got to have self-respect. If you don't have self-respect, how can anybody else respect you? Having self-respect uh, puts a boundary on things you will accept and won't accept. It's weird when you tell people no, some people tend to stick around. It tends to make people act better. But Back to what I was saying, you got you, you got to look inside yourself. You have to find what you want to do, what brings you joy. Because ultimately, if you look for it from other people, they're not going to give it to you. This is why I struggle working jobs, guys. Because I'm putting my livelihood in somebody else's hand. And... That's a dangerous position for me. Some guys don't care. But for me, that messes with my, my head because I'm like, hey, if the CEO makes a bad decision and the company goes bankrupt, there goes my pension, there goes my retirement, there goes my job. And it doesn't work like that where you can just go get another job like that.
Also, this pain that you feel, you ultimately feel it by yourself. You try to tell people, you try to go to a therapist, but ultimately it's something that you have to deal with. You're gonna have to cope with it. You're gonna have to figure out what it is. And this is why if you don't love yourself, nobody else can love you. You're too focused on the outside to the internal. You're never gonna get the validation that you want from other people. Some people will give you validation, but only after you accomplish something. And so this is the thing you go through as a young man or as a young woman. It's a little bit different, but I'm not gonna specialize in, in, in how women feel. I can only talk to how men feel. And dealing with that, trying to cope with that by yourself, it can get it can get tiresome. It can get daunting. But it's life. And the only way to keep going is to keep going. You can't stop. You can wallow in it for a little bit, but you got to keep up, keep going. And I know that sounds cliche and it sounds very easy to say, but it's very hard to do. You learn through trial and error. You learn through humiliation. You learn through getting made fun of. It's fucked up, but it's the truth. And then after you go through that stage of suffering, it's like you have this sort of liberation. You feel free. It's like Joker with that the joke of Joaquin Phoenix and Heath Ledger's joke. They've gotten to a point where they're just like, hey, screw it all. I'm gonna do what I wanna do. And that mentality is what garners people's attention because ultimately they want to implement that in their own lives, but they don't know how to. So look to yourself, guys. Figure out what you like doing. Figure out what makes you happy. Uh, you're going to have to do something you don't want to do for a period of time. That's just life. You're not, life doesn't go on a straight path. Everything doesn't go according to plan. You know, there's a detour here and you got to go back and back up here. And, you know, you got to go around the mountain. Like it's always something to go through. And you know what's even more fucked up? After you get the success or a level of success, it never feels how you think it feels. Like you feel like you would get celebrated and tolerated and celebrated all over the world and you know, uh, people be throwing roses at your feet and then you get this trophy or you get that reward or you get that promotion and it's just like now what? And then you realize that life is just a journey. It's a marathon of full of ups and downs, highs and lows that you have to manage. Success is always a, a, a uphill climb there's always something else to focus on, something greater to do. Not saying you should be greedy, but that's life. And some of the suffering and some of the things that we go through as men that, you know, we oftentimes don't talk about because you know, we don't want to feel vulnerable. We don't want to feel uh, 
like nobody cares. Because that's what that stage is all about. You feel like nobody cares about you. You feel like you're neglected. You feel like an orphan, not wanted by your, by your parents. But this is the breaking. This is the, the, the thing you have to go through in order to become the man that you need to become. It is what it is. Embrace the suffering. Embrace the punishment. It'll liberate you. But more importantly, give some punishment back. That's my video. Like, comment, subscribe. Share the video if you like the video. I'll see you guys on the next one, man. Peace.